Hi everybody, welcome to the astrology chat for August 24th, 2024. So the keys for today are to allow yourself to connect with your body as an instrument and temple of your soul acting out its healing in this space and time. The more today that you allow yourself to bring into your body, bring into your action, bring into your thoughts, the reasons of why you've been healing, allowing yourself to focus on regulating your nervous system, relaxing, being present, taking stock, and continuing to choose your healing over and over and over again. I say this because we have the moon in Taurus today. The moon in Taurus is all about the body. This is the house of I have. This is a Venetian house. Um, Venus is definitely in a very good place right now, in my opinion, to be expressing her lessons about learning and expressing who she is. Uh, we now have the sun in Virgo. And so there is an order energy to the day overall. And this order is coming into some beautiful aspects. We have this beautiful sextile between Chiron and Mars. And this is enabling us to get active around our healing, to understand how we can rework and change our perspectives and our narrative and our actions in a way that brings us more into our body, that brings us more into the present, that brings us more and more into realizing why God has put you here. And Mars is having also a sextile with Mercury. So we have this beautiful sextile, let's get it together, we can work it out energy with the communication. So you can talk about it, you can express it, you can rewrite your story, you can look at your past in a different way. Like the words of your life can be really powerful if you let yourself focus on the healing around them. And now there's still going to be things that are irritating. And these irritations, again, are invitations to remember that you are here, you are present, you are alive, you are magic, you are emotion. And so you can dictate what is happening in your life by fully being present in your vibration. So that irritation that we have about like realizing that certain actions and ideas or dreams no longer work or that structures have to change. All of that is okay. We have a semi-square to Mars. We have a semi-square to Neptune. And we also have just a semi-square to Jupiter. And so let's look at where those semi-squares are happening because it's happening with that house of Gemini. And so there's a sense of that you have to leave the group, leave an association, to step out and be who you want to be and do what you need to do. And in that stepping out, you'll meet other people who are also doing it. That's where there's this, if you step out, then you can come in. When you come in and you step out some more, you're going to meet other people. So there's this beautiful vibration of healing that if you allow yourself to do what your vibration is telling you to do, you're going to align not just with yourself, but with other people who are in that same vibration of you. So there's actually a really beautiful tension to the day. And sometimes just realizing you're not responding to the same thing the way you used to is enough. Uh, somebody needed to hear that. So honor your small healings and your big healings and have a good time. You're here. Love you guys so much and I'll see you tomorrow.